planet Earth, hundreds of millions of years in the future. Intergalactic explorers return to their home planet in search of signs of ancient civilizations. They find a planet that has changed beyond recognition. Gone are the familiar continents that we know today. Instead, they find a giant landmass with huge mountain ranges, massive frozen snowfields and glaciers. The once thriving metropolis they seek has disappeared. A few broken remnants are all that remain, crushed and buried beneath tons of rock. Could this be a future vision of Earth? Naked Science asks, what forces could create such a bleak and barren world? And investigates how the awesome power of colliding continents shapes and reshapes our planet in an endless cycle of construction and destruction. space, it's easy to see the distinctive pattern of land that makes up the continents. North America, South America, Africa, Antarctica, Europe, Asia, and Australia. Giant land masses separated by oceans that stabilize the environment with hospitable weather patterns, suitable for civilization and cities to evolve and prosper. Now imagine our planet, ravaged by storm force winds, subjected to extremes of temperature, giant freezes, heat waves, and droughts. A world where cities are crushed and destroyed, where Africa tramples New York underfoot, and London freezes at the North Pole. The geological future of New York is uh, go going to be uh, rather traumatic. North America and Europe are going to collide with one another. The world as we know it will be unrecognizable. This is not a portrait of the Earth after a devastating global disaster. This is how nature will shape our planet many millions of years in the future. This incredible remodeling is just part of a natural cycle that has shaped the Earth for the last four billion years and will continue to do so until the Sun finally destroys its surface once and for all. Today, our continents may seem solid, safe, and forever fixed in place, but they are none of those things. These great landmasses are constantly on the move. Speed up the last few billion years, and one can see the continents sailing across the globe. Powerful forces deep within the planet rip the continents apart and then smash them together in an ever-changing cycle of death and rebirth. Oceans disappear, mountains crumble and rise again. Land masses form and reform. Colliding continents are the mightiest force on Earth. When we look at the history of planet Earth, we see that it is full of change. Change is, is part of nature. And this change continues today and will continue into the future. To understand how the continents shape our world, we must first travel back in time to the very birth of the Earth. Four and a half billion years ago, the Earth is created from the debris left over from the formation of the Sun. Dust and debris collide and clump together. Once these clumps grow into objects about half a mile in diameter, they create enough gravity to attract more material. 
Slowly, these clumps grow into as many as 20 planets. As these new planets orbit the sun, they begin to collide. One collision with the planet Theia, which creates the moon, obliterates the surface of the Earth. The energy from the collision makes the Earth incredibly hot. At around 11,000 degrees Fahrenheit, it's more than seven times hotter than the inside of a cremation furnace. Earth is a massive molten ball of boiling lava. This is primeval hell, where thousands of asteroids and comets bombard our world. But deep within the planet, a process starts that will lead to the first land. The heaviest elements, lead and nickel, sink down toward the center of the Earth to form a molten core. The lighter elements, including oxygen and silicon, rise toward the 